Okay, so today I'll be talking about watercolor palette. Palette is actually very important because watercolor is all about controlling your water. And that water control actually begins and ends in your palette. So it's quite important subject. I'll be talking through by palette materials and give you some tips or things I know along the way. So let's get into it. Before you set up any color palette, make sure you always make a color chart. If you're finished making it, take a picture of it. So whenever you go to our store, you won't be buying any colors you already have. Palette made out of plastic is something you can easily find in any art store or online and there are a variety of designs or shapes or sizes. It's also the least expensive so there's no pressure on finding the perfect palette. The only downside of this plastic material is that it will get yellow as the time passes and that's the most annoying thing because we always want our mixing area to be pure white so we can see how the color comes out as we mix it. If you ask me to recommend a plastic palette, I think this type is good where there is a deeper area and shallow area on the well and very small ramp where it meets the mixing area. The design is actually very easy to use. You just pick up colors from wells and just slide it into mixing area. About number of wells, I think 20 to 30 wells are good enough. If there's more than 30 wells, I don't know about you guys but it really gives me headache and I believe you don't need more than 30 colors to paint. If you still want to buy a palette that has more than 30 wells, at least write the names of the color on palettes so you can find the colors a little bit faster. The strength point about metal palette is that you can make your own color palette and you can change it very easily. Just take out the half pan and replace it to another color. Before you set up your metal palette, make sure you write the color name on the side of your pan. And when you fill in your paint, I think filling up about two thirds is ideal since we need some area for water and brush to dip in. The downside of metal palette is that the mixing area is a little bit small so you end up using additional palette. Also metal rust if you don't take a good care of it and once it's rust I recommend not using it. For my recommendation on metal palette, if I was like very new to watercolor, I would buy something like this. Metal palette that already have 12 colors and have additional 12 empty slots. This way you have all the colors you definitely need and you can add your favorite colors here as you use it. I think this is very ideal. Just one tip on new palette, when you buy a new palette, make sure you wash your palette before you use. I saw lots of artists use toothpaste to clean it. Porcelain is very easy to maintain because after you clean it, there are no stain marks left like plastic does. The one that is actually designed for palette can be quite expensive and there aren't many designs or shapes or sizes. But gladly, you don't have to buy that. You can just buy any white dish or tray from your local household store. I bought mine in local dollar store for less than $2 each and I'm very satisfied with it. For porcelain, I recommend something like this. Something not too big, easy to hold it and move it around, and tray that can stack up so it won't take a lot of space when we're not using it. So this is it for today's video, thanks for watching and I hope it was a helpful video. Have a happy watercolor painting hobby and I'll see you guys on next video. Bye!